Hey there, it's Laurel here, and I am here with a video today showcasing the Peerless watercolors. Uh, they're super cool. They're like watercolors impressed into papers uh, that really do a lot of good self-blending, so it's definitely a different uh, watercoloring avenue that you might want to look into. And here's the card I'm going to be making today using some items from Crafter's Companion. Now they have a, Crafter's Companion has a line called Art Cure. You can see it over there to the left a little bit. And they have some really, really awesome images that is good for watercoloring. And today I'm going to be using this daffodil, 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 whatever. I'm going to be using this daffodil. I'm going with that stamp set there. And I'm going to ink it up with some unicorn white ink by Hero Arts. It's a white pigment ink. And I'm going to heat set that with some white embossing powder. Now I'm doing this for a couple reasons. One, I typically always use black ink, so I thought white would be something a little bit different. And I usually always uh, heat set my images when I watercolor for two reasons. One, because it keeps the outline of the images very sharp and crisp. And sometimes if you watercolor over an ink, uh, even though it's waterproof, it does dull down the color a little bit in my opinion, sometimes, not always. And the other reason I do it is because it almost gives you like a little barrier, a little wall barrier when you're watercoloring. So uh, that's why I do that. So this is totally an optional thing for you. This is just personal preference for me. So that is some white Hero Arts embossing powder there that I sprinkled over the top. And then I'm gonna heat set that with my heat gun here. Now I am working on some watercolor paper. This watercolor paper is by Hero Arts. So it's not a super white watercolor paper. It's almost like a, a off-white shade. And uh, both sides are pretty smooth. With the Tim Holtz, it's more of a white color. And then you have a smooth side and a textured side. So I chose to use Hero Arts because I wanted the off-white color. Now this is something called liquid frisket. And it's basically a liquid mask. A mask is something you put over an image to protect it. Now most of the time you use paper. But because I'm using a watercolor here, I don't want to use a masking paper because the watercolor will seep underneath the masking paper and get on my image. And I want my image to stay white because I'm going to watercolor that. So this is liquid frisket. I learned about it from the online card class, the watercoloring card class. Now it smells. I'll just be flat out honest with you. It does not smell very good. I don't use it too often, so that's okay. I can get by with the smell for the 60 seconds it took to apply this. But uh, just letting you know that it stinks. I'm also cleaning off my paintbrush, but that's a very cheap paintbrush there that I use that I took from my son, and I use that strictly for the liquid frisket. Do not use any of your nice paintbrushes for that, okay? Have a dedicated brush for the frisket. So now I'm going to take some water. Now eventually I go and get a bucket of water. I was just so lazy, so I just continuously was spritzing onto my craft sheet there. Uh, but I get a bucket of water. <laughs> Save yourself some time there. See how I continuously spritz. I was so dumb. Just, I was being lazy. And there's my Peerless watercolors. Now, I've got those in this little coin protector sheets. That was, again, a organizing tip from Jennifer McGuire. And uh, the watercolors actually pressed into these papers. Now, I cut off little squares that fit inside those coin uh, sheets there. And that's how I kind of store my thing. They come in a little booklet. You can use the booklet if you wish, or you can do it this way, whatever you want to do. But anyway, that's what the watercolor is. It's pressed watercolor onto this paper. So you just wet your brush and pick up the color. Now I did do a wash of color down before I started putting any of the watercolor down. Now this doesn't look all that great right now, and that's okay. I'm gonna continually go in and add more color until I get a look that I'm going for. And when it dries, it does soften up some, and you'll see that in just a second. So again, I'm gonna go in and, and just pick up some different colors. You can see those little tiny pieces of of paper there inside each coin in the little slot. That is the actual color there. That's my little color swatch. I keep everything together. So it just kind of lets me know what color to grab. So I'm just going to go in and play around and add some more color here. And in a second, you're going to see that the flower is miraculously watercolored. I did not realize that my camera stopped recording. It had run out of room. So you're not actually going to see me watercolor the flower, uh, which is a big bummer. It didn't take long. I just switched my paintbrush and used some different watercolors, so I apologize for that. This is how you remove the frisket. You just kind of peel it off with your fingers, and you see how the color already lightened up when it dried off. So I've gone ahead and put some dimensional tape on the back of my card panel here. I did. I put a lot on because when you add so much water, the watercolor paper does get warped. So I used a bunch of dimensional tape and uh, 
covered up the bat. Now you can see that I colored the flower in there with some different colors, all still using the same Peerless watercolors. I'm really sorry I didn't get that on camera. I feel kind of stupid, but I already filmed the video, so I didn't want to, you know, trash the video. So uh, that's that. And I also stamped a sentiment there. Uh, I'm just, <laughs> I'm so sorry I didn't get that. I totally thought I was filming that the whole time. So anyway, here's a look at the finished card. Thanks so much for watching. Sorry I didn't get all that onto the uh, video, but uh, hopefully that gives you a general idea of the Peerless Watercolors. Thanks for watching.